Hey home bakers, it's Jack here at bakewithjack.co.uk bringing you your weekly bread making tip every single Thursday. And this week, what should you be covering your bread dough with? Hmm. Hey you guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for hanging out with me here every single Thursday. Now last week, somebody asked in the comments box below, uh, what they should be covering their dough with. And this is a question that comes up quite a lot, and rightly so, because there are tons of things that people use to cover their dough with, and they've all got their own special thing in their own special way. I like to keep it simple. It can all be very, very confusing. Let's get down to it, shall we? You might read recipes that say, cover your bowl of dough with cling film or plastic wrap. Soak a cloth in water and use that to cover your dough. Oil a piece of cling film, cover it with a shower cap. You got one? Put your bowl in a bin liner and then blow it up, creating a warm and humid environment. And then tie a knot in it so the air doesn't come out again after. And then after all that nonsense, you may well notice that I cover my dough with one of these. A dry cloth with my name on. A proving cloth if you will, but essentially it's a 100% natural cotton tea towel with my name on one side and on the other side a nice picture of a loaf of bread. And the reason it is that way is because I've got hundreds and they're for sale on the online Bakery Jack shop by the way, link underneath. And also because I like to keep my bread making linen separate from everything else. So don't get soapy, don't get none of that washing up liquid and the soapy smell doesn't then transfer to my bread though, which does happen by the way, and when it does happen, it's not very nice. So what's the big idea with all the other things that are supposedly the best thing ever to cover your loaf of bread with? And how come I get away with just using a dry cloth? I hear you ask. Well, it all comes back to the person writing the recipe in the first place, and it's yet another safety measure put in place uh, to make sure your bread comes out nicely, and it's put in place for a couple of reasons. The first thing is that the recipe writer has probably told you to use warm water, lukewarm water, tepid water, body heat water, and we've spoken about this loads before, but that means that there's quite a high chance of you having made a dough that's too warm in the first place. A dough that's too warm in the first place is always trying to dry out. It's always trying to evaporate the moisture into the atmosphere. And so that recipe writer taking that into account that you've made a warm dough has to put something in place to make sure that it doesn't dry out while it's proving up. The guy or the gal who is writing the recipe, <laughs> what? is trying to prevent a big thick skin from forming on the top of your dough, which is a problem. Hence, safety measure. And before you know it, you're oiling up a piece of cling film like it's normal. Secondly, in an attempt to make sure that your bread dough does actually rise, the recipe writer would have put something in place saying something like, move your dough to a warm place and let it rise up. And then they think to themselves, hold on a minute, they might put it on top of the stove. They might put it next to the radiator. They might put it in the classic airing cupboard or they might even put it in a sunny place. All these things have the potential to stitch you up and dry out your dough real nice. So in an attempt to help you out, to guarantee success of the recipe and to prevent the writer looking like a plum when it doesn't work, you now look like a bit of a plum making a hot air balloon out of a bin liner. It's an unnecessary safety measure on top of an already unnecessary safety measure, which is why I've made 74 videos, because education is way more powerful than a recipe will ever be. A little dust in a flour and a dry bake with jack proving cloth is all you need, just to protect it from that little bit of breeze that might happen if you're walking by the bowl and stuff like this. If you use water at room temperature, no safety measures needed. If you rest your dough out on the side at room temperature, free from breezes, no safety measure needed, you can get away with a little sprinkling of flour and a proving cloth slash tea towel slash whatever just to pop on top with zero faff. Remove the problem caused by a safety measure that then requires an additional safety measure. It's all cool. Keep it simple. Leave it on the side with a dry cloth on top. So there you have it. Listen, I want to know what you cover your bread dough with. Stick it in the comments box 
underneath. And you know what? If you want to buy the Bake With Jack proving cloth, you can at the Bake With Jack shop. It ships worldwide, they come in a pack or two, and they are massive. Yes, it is just a tea towel with my name on it, but you know what? It's a tea towel with my name in it. If you want Bake With Jack stuff in your home to bake bread with, I think that's pretty wicked. Uh, have a look at the Bake With Jack shop. I'll put the link underneath. Thank you very much. See you next week.